sort of a racetrack over here. We have lots of motorcycles. The beautiful city of Brasov behind us. We are near Poyana Brasov. So this is quite of a track for the users in the city, for the motorcycles in the city. And we have two beautiful bikes with us today. We have the Moto Guzzi V100 Mandela, which was launched last year, and the BMW R1250R. Uh, superb, superb uh, thing about these two machines is the engine. This is the key attraction, the key point. Uh, this is why we made this comparison, because they are odd. You don't see that often, this kind of transversal uh, twin cylinder V engine or the boxer, the twin boxer. So it's coming with an attitude. It's coming with, uh, with a nice Special feeling. this one. Especially this yep. one, you like that I one? Just, I just love this one. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot say that because this is a comparison. <laughs> you cannot so say already I love that one or this one. So let's break it down. Let's see. What do you like about that engine on the Mandelo? Well, I like the grunt. So it's a really powerful engine and it sounds amazing. So that's a really plus on the on the on the Gucci side. And apart from that, I just, you know, I just like the, 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 the feel of it. It's snatchy a little bit and, uh, you know, when you, when, you, when you rev it, it goes a little bit to the left. So I like that a lot. It's got a lot of character and personality. So it's the same for the BMW. When yeah. you rev it up, it, it's, it's a centrifugal engine. It goes to the right, so it turns to the right when you, when you roll the throttle. But um, you have riding modes. Have you tried the riding modes? Tell me, tell me about the punch. You have, you said that it's snatchy. So that's an attitude point of uh, things. Uh, you have a, that snatchy uh, engine combined with the transmission, which is shaft driven, like on the BMW. So I would put it as a not nice thing to have. But if you come up with the whole idea, this is the attitude. You know, you, you need that that punchness. You need that. Uh, a shaft that goes like uh, a bit vibrating and uh, it's not feeling soft and refined like the BMW. The BMW feels like a limousine compared to that one. Yeah, yeah, I have to agree on that. It's a lot more, how should I put it, um, elegant, let's put it like that, uh, 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 a lot more refined. And you can feel it all the way, not just the engine. I mean, the clutch as well and pretty much everything that you do with it, it feels uh, a little bit more, um, how should I put it, aristocratic let's put it like that the most important thing about the bmw for me is the punch man this this thing it's like a tractor it has so much torque when you roll the throttle it's like going down from underneath you and and giving it all so this is a, a quite nice thing to have when it comes to the boxer engine that punch because of the torque this one comes with a lot less, like 20, 25 to 30 uh, Newton meters less. But the most important thing for the BMW is that they got it refined. The quick shifter works a bit better, so the gearbox doesn't feel that uh, agricultural. This one, it's refined. That one, it, it comes with attitude and it still needs to get the long process of refining. Yeah, uh, the quick shift the quick shifter works really good on this one. I mean, I but didn't... it's not like the one on the BMW. That one, it kind of uh, it's it's, it's, it's a little bit snatchy. It's snatchy every but time. But it you... goes into gear, <laughs> so this so... Is, this is a, like a big plus. So every time I, I, I it went into the gear, so so not a problem there. But yeah, it feels a little bit snatchy. I mean, when you go to the second, third, and fourth, it just got a little bit of you know, just. It's a little bit uh, strange, that's it. On the other hand, that one, it's, as I said, uh, super smooth. Well, about smoothness, you told me at some point that you cannot feel your fingers anymore. You got numb, <laughs> numb <laughs> hands. Yeah, it's, uh, it, it vibrates quite a bit. <laughs> and uh, it's okay, I mean, 30 to 50, 50 kilometers, but after a while, it gets a little bit tiring, which is not that great. Okay, but so... uh, I believe it's a part of its character, so it's supposed to be like that, <laughs> I think. Okay, so we forgive any uh, flaw of the Moda Guzzi just because we name it character. <laughs> okay, I, I got a point. Let's talk about the comfort level because, yeah, you kind of have a, a front fairing over here. Right now, the, the, the BMW doesn't have only that small windshield. We kept it down uh, most of the time because when you raise it up, because we are very tall, it, yeah, we got buffeting, buffeting quite a lot. Yeah. Buffeting. Uh, that one is quite sufficient in order to go on the highway. On the highway, we kind of we cruised. had the same yeah, cruised. same opinion. Yeah, cruised, the, yeah, the BMW is refined. Stick to the stick to the ground uh, on this earth. You can 
go like huge distances with the Gucci, you have to take a break from time to time in order to <laughs> feel your control. Just get the, 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 the body uh, right back up. Yeah, I felt a little bit more in control on the BMW. But uh, regarding of the, of the wind uh, and so on, uh, it's, things are pretty much similar. I mean, you got like a, I think it's a bigger windscreen, uh, but it feels on the edge between naked and touring. So this yeah. is, yeah, it's my best. Also kind of a roasterish, yeah, sport, roasterish, roasterish yeah. approach. Uh, let's talk about the, those uh, aero fairings because you know that these ones are getting... Yeah, believe it or not, but I felt oh, it. I, no, I, I cannot I, believe I, that. <laughs> I, I felt it. It's just around here on the, on the hip. But I yes, supposed it. to do something uh, around your your I, I didn't. chest. Uh, no, I, I felt a little bit perhaps on the hip and perhaps a little bit upper area, but that's about it. Uh, I felt a lot of wind on my on my shoulders and uh, on the on the, the other side. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's uh, it's not the, the the thing that you you would uh, say about these bikes, but. We kind of loved it today. Everybody will tell you that these are old school bikes, old men's bikes, but if we kind of are old already after 30, you know, we consider ourselves old and we can, we can go for a long ride on these two bikes. Suspension wise, they feel superb. The BMW has the ESA, which is super comfy. You choose the dynamic mode, you can go fast on twisties. You go on the Mandelo, you had the Mandelo S which comes with all ins electronically adjustable suspension. It's super plush when you set it up um, on a touring mode. When you go to the sportier pace, it can handle some serious riding and it will feel like a sports bike, like a real race bike. Yeah, um, it feels like you have to push it and it lets you push it all the way. I mean, the, the all ins back and front are really working really, really, really good, especially on the twisties on not so smooth surface you, you feel it and uh, you feel it all over your body but i believe that's uh, you know it comes with the territory so this one it's sportier the suspension this one is a lot more a comfortable lot, a lot i mean the you, yeah, you, okay. you feel it like a lot super what about the brakes very good brakes i have to say on both bikes immense power yeah immense braking power over there um i we, think they are quite the same the the calipers look quite the same the the, the 3 23 30 around that yeah, they are, they are yeah. quite huge and they stop every time you want because these are heavy bikes and they should they should stop promptly every time you need it. But you have the ABS and, uh, and everything goes on. What about the menu, the, the electronics? Because you have uh, everything like uh, with LED and uh, TFT dashes, connectivity with the MIA on the, um, on the Moto Guzzi and the, this one uh, comes with the BMW connected drive. So you get all the bells and whistles, but what about the traction control? I have to say that I've spotted the traction control on both bikes blinking, but I didn't feel the intervention. So the refinement level I, is quite high. I also high. noticed that. Yeah, I also noticed a few times. Um, regarding the, the the multimedia dash, um, I think that the user the user uh, it's it's the it's quite friendly on the on the BMW. At least this is how I it's felt. It's easier it. to use on this. Yeah, one. it's yeah. easier to use on that one. Uh, I tried to you know to 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 put on the the, the heat for the handlebars, but um, I quite yeah, you have to press some buttons yeah, in order to I, get I it quite, on. Also I was for the also windshield. riding and uh, that's given that, but. Uh, this, the, the, the user experience is really nice and uh, I think it's superior on the BMW, at least from my side. Let's talk about the riding position because this is a very important thing. You feel sportier on that one and more comfortable, more relaxed on this one? Yeah, I believe so that. It's the same upright, but this one kind of brings you, it's a bit more engaging. It brings you to the front and wants you to make, uh, to make it faster, to, to go outside, to go in, inside the corner faster. Yeah, and uh, on, the, on the BMW, the handlebars are a little bit wider, so I felt quite a little bit more relaxed. This is a little bit, just a, uh, just a notch sportier, and you got the handlebar towards you, and you feel it uh, all the way. That, that's a thing, and even more important in, uh, in traffic, this one, it's a bit better because it has a larger turning angle. It's uh, it's more generous, so you can switch yourself, uh, go between cars easier with with the BMW rather than taking the Gucci. So the Gucci stays outside the city on twisties and highways. BMW can also do easily some city riding, but um, I think they could have made it uh, a bit 
a bit wider the turning angle. I would have loved to be. Uh, yeah, it's to towards turn. the naked bike, so like uh, not so much of a leaning uh, uh, turning angle. Sorry. Yeah. So the BMW had quite a nice performance on twisties. Oh, that's a rider. Hello. I told you this is like a racetrack over yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> so superb performance going out of twisties is like magic. It's like telepathic. You just roll the throttles, and everything happens. And you feel so much in control with the BMW. I felt in control, uh, you know, in the corner, before the corner, after exit the, the corner. So um, it's manageable, but, huh? it's rideable. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it's it's quite a big super engine, friendly. but it's, yeah, it's super friendly. Um, but we were talking about earlier the flickability in the in the corners. Uh, how how we were actually talking about, and uh, you said that BMW feels a little bit more flickable. I said, and I, I still say that the Gucci, it's a little bit, I, I feel it a little bit lighter. I don't know why or how, but I, I like it because it's a little bit more flickable on the twisties. You feel it flickable because it's uh, gathered together, everything is close by, so the riding position makes you feel that. Yeah, perhaps that, yeah. We need to, to discuss about the twisties because on twisties I felt faster with the Mandelo. Okay. Somehow, but I was faster with with the Overall. BMW. Overall, the BMW it's faster. You don't feel that because uh, it's smooth and going very smooth. That one vibrates a bit more. It uh, pops, it bangs, so you feel like making a lot of noise, and you get the impression that you're going faster. So that's another thing <laughs> that you get the 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 feeling, the rider feeling that you get from the Mandelo. Otherwise, quite good BMW performance on twisties. It's superb going out the, 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 the twist is it's quite nice. You just roll the throttle and things happen. One aspect that we need to discuss is the price because it's always about the price. Of course. So for the BMW it's like... Uh, it's 14 something, just the base model. So for the base model of the Gucci is the same? Uh, yeah, Close pretty much. 000. Yeah, without the S in the back. So, so not, not Mondello S, S, just Mondello Simple. Simple. So you get the suspension, the colors, the dash, the... the Heated grips. Oh, so. There's quite a list of things. Yeah. With the BMW, you need to add up some things with the electronic suspension and stuff like that. You can go up to 17,000 uh, 17, just like the, the Mandelo S. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not that huge differences between prices. No, the prices are pretty much similar. How did you feel the how did you feel the the clutch on on both bikes? Because um, I felt that the clutch on this one, I, I didn't feel it so good. I mean, uh, it's a little bit. I think it's a little bit heavier and it releases on, on the on on on, on yeah, the Yeah, you can adjust it at some point, yeah. but other than that, yeah, it, it it's like on and off because yeah, it's that's the right. First that's version from Gucci. Well, actually, this is the first uh, in a long time the the first liquid cooled engine from Gucci. This uh, new uh, propulsion unit. So that's why they they kind of made it. They put it together and uh, they still have to refine it at some point, but. Uh, I wouldn't complain about the, the clutch. I would complain about the vibration level because that's so annoying for me because I cannot feel my, my fingers. So this is a huge minus for the Gucci, the vibration level. Otherwise, it's a superb machine. I love these colors. I, I love the way it feels, the character, the, the flow, <laughs> the flows that we called characters. But if I were to choose a bike to go around the strips outside the city, go for a longer two, three days ride, I would pick the BMW because it feels a lot more comfortable. What about you? Um, yeah, yeah, I will also choose the BMW, but you can do it as well with the Gucci. So no problem there. It's just, you know, just minor, minor uh, setbacks here, nothing major on it. Uh, so you can do pretty much uh, the touring mode with both bikes. But yeah, if I have to choose, I would choose also the, the BMW. So, I think I think we have a winner right now just by saying BMW for both. <laughs> in comparison, uh, in between these two roasterish, uh, different approach engines that we have over here, these beautiful machines uh, from BMW and Moto Gucci, the Gucci has lots of character and uh, features lots of lots of nice stuff on it, just like the BMW. But in terms of rideability and uh, user-friendly experience, we would both pick the BMW. So for this test today, the BMW kind of kind of it's it's the choice yeah. that you have. But if you want a superb machine, an Italian uh, approach of uh, roadster, given uh, motorcycles. Yeah, 
the Gucci is for you. Yeah, for I would, sure. I, I would I would take it just to have it in my garage because it looks superb. I think that uh, it it uh, it gets better with age. I mean, it's 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 a it's a motorcycle that uh, I think that is gonna be looking uh, good for a, for a really long time from now. So let's go for for some more riding. Yeah. Yeah. Let, let's <laughs> see who goes uh, to the city first. Eh? Yeah. Let's, the city first. let's do it. <laughs> let's do it.